Hey there, I'm Mike Lloyd. I'm gonna teach you how to take some spicy boudoir photos at home by yourself without a photographer. Now, you might be thinking, Mike, you're a boudoir photographer. Why would you want anyone to take them at home by themselves? Wouldn't that put you out of business? And no, I'm not worried about that because it's an entirely different experience. And I think it would be amazing if everyone could take their own spicy photos at home because you know, it's a confidence boost. Share them with your partner. Uh, I love receiving photos like that from girlfriends. I think it's fantastic. And I think everyone should learn how to do them at home. And they're not as difficult as they could be once you have a little bit of guidance. So that is the point of this whole video. I got all pretty for you. I can barely breathe with this thing on, but beauty is pain, right? And Got my hair did. So I'm gonna show you how to do some spicy boudoir photos. Found some jeans that were way too small. They make my butt look pretty good if I don't say so myself. So let's dive in to how to pose around a coffee table and a couch. And then I'm gonna sit down on a chair and do some poses. And I'm gonna do some on the bed that you can't see over here, but I will move the camera around so you can see it. All right, let's start with the coffee table. You might be thinking, well, Mike, how am I gonna make a coffee table look sexy. Well, let me tell you. First, pick a leg, any leg. We're going to start with one. <laughs> Let's put this leg up first. You can do this in heels if you want. You don't need to. Uh, totally fine. Also, I would maybe recommend turning the camera just a smidge so you're in the center, but it's totally up to you. As long as your back is to the closest edge of the frame, totally cool. Because watch what happens when I turn around this way. Now, suddenly I'm like forced up against the side of the frame here and the video seems really cramped, like I'm stuck in a box, like I'm a mime or something. But when I'm facing the open side of the camera, then the viewer's eyes will start where they need to, and it just, it looks more open. So that is a uh, compositional tool that you can use to your advantage. So I'll put a leg up here, and as long as you are turned enough, the naughty bits won't show. Because you could go this leg also, and get all this curve right in here, uh, which looks fantastic. Then just take your arms, put them over the top, and fingers dangle down. You don't want to do the 10 fingered monster claw. You want to stagger them like that. So down like this. So foot up, 90 degrees from the camera, so you can see all these luscious curves. Fingers over the top. And you also don't want to hunch over. Hunchbacks, generally not sexy. So booty back, always booty back. Arch the back up, keep the shoulders up. You should get a good hamstring stretch in this right leg. Fingers over the top. And what's cool, you can look at the camera. You can look over here. You can look down. You can bring this hand up over here. If you are topless like I am, you can bring one hand across your chest over here. You can hold the girls like this. So much you can do, you know, hands up in your hair, all kinds of magic. Then you can just swap legs. Bring this one over here like that. Bring them both down. If you happen to have a corset on, grab onto the strings, wherever the hell they went, ugh, and just hold them out to the side, looking over here. That's sexy, right? That's one super easy pose. Take some spicy photos on your coffee table. You're like, that's cool, Mike. What else can I do on a coffee table? Well, you can get over here. Hands to the back, fingers pointing back. The leg closest to the camera, keep it up. The other one, keep it down, arch everything, and look up, right? Super spicy. If you swap legs this way, it makes you look longer. If you go this way, it makes you look curvier. And if you got a little bit of a pooch down here on your belly, bringing this knee up, your leg will block the pooch from showing to the camera. So that's a great way to hide your lower belly if you don't want it showing. And just remember, always, Keep the toes pointed, because you don't want feet up. That looks super weird. So point the toes, arch all the things. Spicy pose number two on the coffee table. You can also get on the couch. All right, now the coffee table's moved. I'm getting so sweaty in this wig. You're like, that's cool. You could do similar stuff on the couch. You could, you know, lay down on the couch if you want. I like sitting down. Ugh. I'm gonna move the camera. All right, so I moved the camera a little bit so we're down at a better angle here. Uh, again, because we're shooting on a super wide angle lens, which is what is in your camera, God, this thing is awful, um, it stretches things out. 
So it's making this chaise look like a child's piece of furniture, even though it's a normal sized piece of furniture, and it's making me look way long, which I'm okay with. So start by scooting back all the way up against the, the couch, the chaise, whatever you got, so your lower back is up against the fabric. Then elbows on here, and just like we did before, leg closest to the camera, bring it up, Hide the pooch. If you're bottomless in this, you could be totally nude. And that leg covers all the knotty bits. Cool. And it's curves. Lots of curves. Then you just sit up nice and straight. Arch everything. You can look out this way. You can look at the camera. You can down if you want. Then you can swap legs and go this way. And it's going to elongate everything. Same. Arch everything up. Hands out nice and relaxed. You can bring the hands here. You can come forward, bring the hands here, bring the hands here, bring the hands here. Ugh. This is really hard in a corset, but you can wrap your arms around here and just put one hand on the wrist and you've got more spicy poses. You're like, that's cool. What else can I do on the couch? You want to get real spicy here? Kneel next to the couch with your knees at the edge of the couch and sitting back on your heels and just hands forward, drop your head down, booty back, magic, so spicy. So those are some spicy poses you can do with the couch. Let's move into a chair. The chair is one of my favorite pieces of furniture to take boudoir photos on because it is so versatile. But let me give you some tips and tricks so you can start taking your own spicy photos with a chair. Firstly, when you sit on the chair, firmer is better. Because when you get a big squishy, couch or chair that you sit on, everything on you will also squish out. So unless you want to look bigger and squishier, then go with something on the firmer side. And when you sit in the chair, we're rarely ever sitting all the way back. You sit on the edge, just so your tailbone and your pelvis is on the edge of the chair and you should feel your booty bone there. Uh, on the surface of the chair. The reason we do this is because again, when you sit down, everything gets smushed out. So if only the back of your bottom is on the chair, your legs and thighs will not be smushed out. Totally up to you. All right, so we can start here and something as simple as pretty basic, not too spicy, but again, it's all about what you're wearing. So if you decide to do this topless, bring this arm over here, let this one hang off to the side. Sit up as straight as you can. Roll your hips forward. This is a way to push the booty back because we can't, we don't want to sit like this. That looks stupid. So to bring the booty back, roll your hips forward. Bring your rib cage forward. Shoulders up, hand back, cover this one. Stagger your feet, alternate them. See which one you like the best. I generally take the leg closest to the camera, extend that, cover yourself here. Super spicy photo number one. All right, what else can we do with the chair? Turn it, straddle it this way. Fingers over the top, toes down, spicy photo. You can look away, you can look down, turn the chair, straddle it this way. Again, point the toes down, fingers over the top, sit up straight, booty back, and you got all this spicy magic right there. Totally great posing in a chair. Uh, then you could also like hang back on it, get pretty fashion. You could lean forward on it if you want to do that. If you're flexible and not wearing a corset, maybe bring one foot up here, something like that. Um, you could also stand next to the chair, like what we did for the, the coffee table in the beginning. And again, booty out this way or swap legs, booty back this way. Stretch everything, you should get a good hamstring stretch when you do that. Fingers over the front, you can look this way, you can look down, you can look at the camera. Spicy poses with the chair. All right, let's do one more. Uh, you know what, let's face the, face the camera here. So this is the one time I'm gonna have you sit farther back on the chair. You're almost all the way on the back here. Hands stacked in front of you down on the center of the chair. So if you take the middle palm of your hand, it should go right on the edge of the chair. Other hand is stacked on top of it like this. Again, we're not doing the 10 fingered monster paw. Stack them this way, fingers down, 
And if you do this right, the camera will be in front of you, cover up your lady bits if you're not wearing anything. Your arms can also cover up the girls here. You can do this totally nude. You can wear whatever you want. Point the toes and magic. And again, from here, you can bring your hands out. You can do one. You can bring that back. You can let it hang over the edge. You can bring it up into your hair. So many different variations that you can do just from this starting spicy pose. All right, let's jump on the bed. All right, so now we're on the bed. I'm gonna show you a few more spicy poses that you can do at home by yourself. So this is one of the first ones I do with all of my shoots because it's super easy to do. And if you're like tense or kind of nervous, this isn't really your jam, it still looks really good because it's so easy to do. And no matter what you are wearing, this one will look great. Body suits are fantastic, but you can also do it in jeans and a corset. This one is great with or without a top on. So let's tighten up the corsets and get started. Okay, so you wanna start by laying diagonally on the bed with your head toward one corner and your feet toward the other corner. Uh, what I like to do is come up on the elbows so that everything is stretched out here. Because you also don't wanna be hunched down low, you wanna come up higher so that you actually have a neck. Most people want a neck in their photos. And again, we're not doing the monster paw. Stagger your hands in front of you on the bed. Then take your feet, cross them, point them, and you can look up at the camera, you can look over this way, you can look down. Very versatile pose. Uh, then from here, you can take one leg out, and when you push down on that knee, you can roll the hip up and get so much more booty action here. You can lay your head down, so much booty popping right here. So easy to do, right? You just got three spicy poses right there. You're like, okay, Mike, what else you got for me? Get up on your knees like this, Knees apart, sitting back on your heels. You can either be, you know, sit up straight again, booty back, shoulders up. Uh, I say that a hundred times in all of my photo shoots. And again, you could go hands down here, hands here, hold the girls, bring one hand down, bring both hands down, stagger your hands. Then you get up, we call this the, the cheetah pose, or sexy panther. And again, it's like you're crawling forward. So the trick here, again, you don't want to be scrunched down because you won't have a neck. You come up, shoulders back, booty back, arch your back as much as you can, all the backs, point your toes, and you can look forward, you can look at the camera, look down, let all your hair hang down low. You can try and time a hair flip. I've never done a hair flip before because I haven't had hair in 25 years. That was fun. Uh, anyway, this one's super easy to do too, and it looks great. You can also go around the other way and do this one uh, from an angle like that. Then, roll over on your back, do the same thing we did on the coffee table. Spicy pose looks great here, or here. Cross that one over, go crazy. Uh, super easy. Another one I like to do, <sighs> lay down this way. Fingertips just hanging off the edge of the bed. Feet together, toes pointed, and then booty up in the air, looking forward. This one, magic. Drop your head down if you want. Roll up this way, straighten out this bottom leg, bring your knee over the top so we get all this juiciness right here. Bring this hand down, keep your shoulder down. You don't want it up, keep the shoulder down, bring it back. This one's really hard to do in a corset. This one also spicy pose and you could roll around the other way and do this from the back with your head down like this and it's all about the booty, magic. All right, last one. Standing next to the bed, leg closest to the camera comes forward, because again, we want all the juicy curves. And it's like the sexy panther, except this foot is back on the floor and toes pointed. So the magic happens here, booty back, shoulders up so you have a neck, and you're looking forward this way, like you're crawling toward something out there. You can do the panther hand motions if you want to do that. You can look up, you can look down, Hair flip, so many spicy poses you can do super easily on the bed. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope to never wear this thing again, <laughs> but it, it was kind of fun secretly. Uh, all right, spicy poses at home. Again, uh, I hope you enjoy that. Go try them, send them to your favorite person, which could also be you. That is totally a thing. 
Um, and if you have other ideas, then just start playing. That's the whole magic of this is just get your camera on like a three or 10 second timer, use remote control if you have one. Uh, that's what I do when I'm doing my own headshots or, you know, uh, experimenting with lighting styles and stuff like that. Uh, if I don't have somebody else to work with, I can do it myself. Just get an Amazon tripod thing for your phone. It's super easy and just play. Just have fun, there's no pressure. It's all about just experimenting and seeing what you like. So get started. And if you wanna know how to hire a photographer, if you're like, that's cool, Mike, let me just work with you instead, head to mikelloydstudios.com. I would love to chat with you more about doing a photo shoot. And I've got other videos on here, how to find good lighting in your home, uh, how to pick the right photographer for you, what to wear at a photo shoot, I got you covered. So be sure to check out those videos and subscribe also. You are amazing, see you inside.